you could be filthy rich if you just watched Bad the House. Hello and welcome back, everybody, to another fun-filled edition of Bet the House. I am your host, Dante Donatello, Michelangelo Leonardo, here with my friend who is returning from catching the Zodiac Killer, Felipe Cuba Libre. You got a nice little mask there, Felipe. Yeah, you know, been winning all that money, so I got to spend it on something good, you know? Winning money, catching Zodiac Killers, what else? Could you ask from this guy? He's a great dude. And if you say otherwise, I will fight you. We got three more winners for you, though, this week. We got three more friggin' winners for you. Let's get right to it. Three more winners so you can buy three more expensive dinners, if that's what you prefer to do with your winnings. We're going to start with the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Cheese Packers. Aaron Rodgers in his weird haircut going against Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals are going to be a good team in a couple of years, maybe. They are overachieving right now. I believe that three and one. The Packers also three and one. The Packers are given three points to this Bengals team. Joe Burrow has looked really good. He looks like he's a very promising quarterback. Obviously, that's why they took him number one overall a couple of years ago. But I just don't think that the Packers are going to be within a field goal of them. I think the Packers easily win this one by a touchdown, maybe even more of that. This is maybe a come-to-reality kind of game for the friggin' Cincinnati Bengals here. They looked good all season so far. Maybe you've had your disappointments. You've had your surprises. You've gotten a couple of teams. I think the Packers are kind of rounding into form. I think the Packers win this one again by at least seven. So you take your hammers, kids. You go Packers minus three over the Bengals. You smash that one home. That's our first bet this week. We're also going to head over. This is a stick of fork in them game. A stick of fork in them game. And I have never done this before ever in the history of Better House. I've never stuck a fork in a, in a football coach. Urban Meyer, he's done. Stick a fork in them. Urban Meyer, the Jags, they're dead. They're taking on the Titans who got upset by the Jets. You don't lose to the Jets and then not have a little moment of reflection on yourself and be like, what the hell happened here? What the hell happened with us last week? Why are we going to lose the friggin' Jets? The friggin' Jets? No chance they lose again. The Titans are going to blow the doors off this Jaguars team. The Urban Meyer, he's not traveling back with the team after a Thursday loss. Trevor Lawrence, he's running off to bachelor parties. Urban Myers, you know, he's hanging out with, with co-eds while his wife's over there watching the grandkids. Not a great character guy. I don't think he's got this locker room anymore. I think the Jags are in a tail, sp- uh, what is it? Is it? The Jaguars are in a spiral. They're spiraling out of control here. This is going to get away from them fast. I think you take the Jags, you, you throw them out of there. Titans, minus four over the Jags. That's your lock of the week. Titans are going to smoke these Jags. They don't want to play for Urban Meyer. They're not going to go out there motivated to do nothing. The Titans are going to have A.J. Brown and Julio Jones back on the field. That's going to be a nice couple of weapons for Ryan Tannehill to throw to over there. Derrick Henry, ever heard of him? He's going to run all over this Jaguars defense. Titans minus four. Smash, smash, smash. Titans minus four over the Jags. Our final pick of the week. We're going to take the Carolina Panthers, given three and a half, So the Philadelphia Eagles, you know what I don't like about the Philadelphia Eagles? Jalen Hurts. I don't like the coach. I don't like the defense. I don't like the offense. I don't like any of these things about the Eagles. Now the Panthers, they tried to step up in class. They lost to a very good Cowboys team last week. I think Christian McCaffrey, he has been practicing. I'm not saying he's going to go play this week. Chuba Hubbard though. Maybe he's going to get the start again. I still think this is going to be a Panthers team that's, you know, they're on their toes a little bit. I think they got something to play for. It's a bounce back game for these Carolina Panthers. The Eagles, they ain't going to stop them. They're not going to stop them. They're not going to be able to get past this Carolina defense. Jalen Hurts, yeah, he has a couple good plays here and there. He's not that good. This team is bad. The Eagles, they stink. Carolina Panthers are going to easily win this one by a touchdown. Three and a half points. This feels like maybe... You know, this 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 could be, you know, a 24 to 24 to 17 type game, 24 to 13 type game. That's kind of what I'm getting the vibe of from these Carolina Panthers. I think they go down to Philadelphia. I think they smoke this Eagles team. Panthers minus three and a half over the Eagles. Those are your winners, folks. To recap our picks. Packers minus three over the Bengals. Titans minus four over Urban Mayan and the Jaguars. And then the Panthers. Minus three and a half 
over the Eagles. Those are your three winners. You're going to come back to us next week. And you say, Dante, Felipe, thank you for helping make me a very rich man or woman because we don't discriminate here on Bet the House. But you're going to enjoy it if you got a gambling problem. 1-800-GAMBLER. And always remember, folks, Bet the House.